All right, fellow Boom Boxery fans, welcome to the basement. Figured I'd just do a video walkthrough today with all the new LEDs and everything I've got up. Added a few to kind of liven things up a little bit. There's some of the vintage gear right there. You can see the Sansui 5000X and the Pioneer PL530 turntable and the CTF 900 cassette deck all lit up in a nice hue of blue. And here we go. There's the top rack right there. There's the C9, the CK11, the Hitachi CP90, the Big Maggie that you guys have seen in other pics. This is what the shelf is looking like now. I actually had to change things around a bit because, well, the family grew a lot. Um, this has been kind of the year of the boombox, if you will, for me. And let's just zoom in on some of this here. It's kind of like uh, taking you guys on a personal tour, I guess, in a way. Can't quite see everything. There's that GE hiding back there. There's the bottom shelf. Look at Zoom in. Um, obviously, this is a GE vertical. One of the black boxes won't show up that well, naturally. There's the big WF939Z and the W700 with the CD player on the top. The vector hiding back there in the dark. There's a Hitachi J3, some of the minis, and up here you'll see a Sanyo C9, uh, C7 that I've acquired recently. There's a Sansui's all up in their triple formation now. And there you see my Beta Bright LED sign. And I'll go ahead and, before I end the video, I'll do a rotation of all of those. Of course, I'm doing this on my uh, Evo camera. So don't expect a whole lot, but it's a really sweet kind of setup here. And everything looks. So I'm just sweeping with the LED now. There's a I don't know what that piece of shit sitting on the floor over there is to the to the right. Don't know what that is. There's a HP 800 Telefunken sitting there. It's in the dark. And then come over here to these shelves, and you can see how everything is lit. So, now that we've kind of gotten a view right there, why don't we turn on the light? There we go. Let's have a look-see. There we go. I'm going to look at my collection here. And this time we'll go in reverse. Here's the W350 hiding back there, the JVC along with the JVC PC3. And there's the Sony shelf, FH5, uh, CFD5, and the FH7, OG edition, Panasonic uh, RXCW200, and then there's the RXDT680, and then there's that piece of crap sitting on the floor over to the right again. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. That's going to ruin the whole friggin' video. Okay, there you can see my Hitachis. There's a JVC. RCM60, uh, there's the Philips, what I call foot box, because it still has the piece of tape where Ira taped the foot back onto it, still on there. Panasonic Mini. Of course, there are the Sansui's. There's CP77, CP99, and the FX300, I mean the FX500, which uh, won the best Mini at the first uh, Sunshine Mix get-together. And there is the HP 800 I got from Frank. I believe it was at that same meter. It might have been uh, 2010. And I think Bobby was getting it, and then we swapped, and I gave him my PC 55, and I got that. And, of course, you see that nice little transformer down there on the floor. Woo-ha! Because now the HP 800 runs like it should. And I needed that transformer because of that bad boy sitting over to the right, that ISP. SC800. Then there's the Big Fisher PH492. Of course, once again, there's the Sansui's, and you can see the sign going, and I'll back up off of that so you can see that a whole lot better. And then there's the, there's the lineup, as you can see right there. And that's what everything looks like sitting in the dark. I'm going to put a little light on it. 
Everything shows up just a wee bit better. Copa said it. And then, of course, over here, we've got the GX570D Akai cassette deck. Lloyd's 8-track. It's one of the nicer ones back then. After that, Lloyd's just came out with a lot of crap. Um, go figure, right? Of course, you can see the other decks I have. Pioneer Reverb. Another JVC KDA33. TAC that I got from JT. And, of course, this little beauty that I got recently from one of our great members. Of course, a lot of my radios came from some awesome, awesome members. And of course, there's the turntable. And then we're just going to back out here. Oh, and there's this lovely beast right here. This lovely Toshiba System 1. I don't know what that is. Or you should. And here's the interesting piece I got from my dad. Um, I actually got this for his birthday, and that's how I got the 5000X. Is... Um, or actually the first 5000 x I had that's how I got it he was actually went out with his friends and this is one of the first AV receivers out there it's a SX1130 uh, a lot of power and what I had done was I unhooked his 5000 x and put this in place and he came home drunk that night wanting to kick my ass because somebody had been screwing with a stereo system before my mom reminded him that this was his birthday gift and I was the only one who knew how to hook it up so there's a funny story for you right there and you probably notice when you uh, back going to some classic uh, with the Mona sitting back there is a vintage Iowa uh, real real player. And what's neat about it is the guy that had it used it in Vietnam to send tapes home to his wife. And I just thought that was just the coolest thing. And then we're going to go to the scrolling sign to, to kind of close this out. You see it flashing boom box right there. This little beta bright thing is pretty cool. Let's just watch it in action there. And I mean, it's really bright. I don't know if I'm zooming in, it's hurting it. Maybe if I get at it at a different angle, it'll show up better. I don't know. Maybe I'm too far away from it. That seems to be the, the problem there. Let's watch it cycle a time or two. Maybe that's it. Sansui, obviously. You can see the brands as they rotate through. Yeah, I was just too far away. Um, it's a pretty neat little thing. Not a whole lot you can do with it, but it does enough. And I got it at a yard sale, uh, fairly cheap. So I thought that was pretty cool, you know, to have and add a little flash to the old basement there. I just let that cycle through. That's supposed to be Montgomery Ward, but it's a doggone bright. It's kind of mashing together. It looks a lot better in person than it does here on the video. But then again, it's probably just my doggone cheesy camera. Or I just need to turn on the lights and be done with it. That'd probably help it out a bunch. Let's try this one more time. Let's take the flash off. Let's see what it does. Yeah, I think it's just the focus. That might be it. Because it is, I mean, it's bright. Don't get me wrong, it really is. That's cool enough.
and it does the job. And there it goes again. <laughs> 